What's going on everybody and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Listen to that soundtrack. That's a copyright claim waiting to happen. I know they're gonna smack me with it. It's all good though. I can't even be mad. Y'all probably never thought you were gonna see this again. I didn't think I was ever gonna play this game again either, but uh, recently there was some new DLC that was released for the game that seems really cool. It's a return to Jurassic Park. Um, which I think would be incredible. This game is one of my favorite series I've ever posted on the channel, to be honest. We did this back in like the summer of 2018. Um, or maybe even the spring of 2018? It's been almost like two years ago. A year and a half ago? Something like that. But it was an incredible game. I would love to, um, you know, post at least a few videos on it. So if this is something you guys would like to see, like I said, a few videos of, be sure to show some love to the like button down there. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And I'm going to try not to hold it up too much. We're just going to uh, start the game and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution and Jurassic Park. I guess it's supposed to be like a, you know, like a sequel to the original Jurassic Park, which there were sequel movies, don't get me wrong, but um, in game form. So, should be a lot of fun. I don't know how many videos I will post on it. I'm pretty sure it's one park. So, we'll get to kind of rebuild it after, you know, everything that happened in Jurassic Park. So hopefully I remember how to play the game. That's my main concern. And hopefully my camera's not in the way. I checked my old videos and this is where I had my camera. Also, remind me to never grow my beard out again. Jesus Christ, I look like an idiot. That shit was down here. I was chunky with it. Isla Nublar. I love it. <laughs> this is so cool. It gets so much better, Mr. Cabot. Believe me. Uh, I, I, I didn't believe you the first time, John. Ah, this is the abuse I'm paying for. We all have our doubts, John. But we want to believe. We just need assurances. What's it like seeing a dinosaur for the first time? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the early days of a new romance. It's fascinating and exhilarating. Uh, until the fangs and the claws come out. Mm. It's definitely a profound moment. It made an impression on me. Let's put it that way. This is why Jurassic Park must succeed, Dr. Grant. I want the world to have that same profound memory. You know, I could do without uh, some of the memories of this place. That's precisely why I asked you all to take this journey again. Had you been part of the process earlier, Perhaps our first time around would have been different. A mistake I'm correcting. The Lophosaurus. More importantly, damn those gates need work. a chance to live in harmony with the modern world. Hmm. However tenuous and unwise that may be, I'm going to prove it to you all. And Dr. Malcolm, I'm going to prove you wrong. First time for everything, I suppose. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's just throwing us in here. Okay, so we have a visitor center. Oh. Everything is a wee bit of a muddle on Isla Nublar. Yes. So we'll have our work cut out for us. Yes, a, a return to the scene of the crime. As it were. What crime would that be? Uh, hubris, John. Something that'll hopefully be managed a little more thoroughly this time. I admit that I may have been too enthusiastic. And that it may, may have led to blind spots. That's why I brought young Cabot Finch along with us. So, uh, what kind of science are you studying, Cabot? Uh, business. Business? Oh, great. The last thing we need more of. Transmission incoming. Here we go. Return to Jurassic Park. Regaining control. After reviewing everything with Mr. Hammond, we'll need to start by placing an arrival point. Then we can restore the core facilities and get a ranger outpost up and running. So first, let's, okay. Uh, you, actually, Dr. Grant. Power station. And Dr. Sattler and Dr. Mark. Okay. Much to do, but it sounds easy enough. You really are new to this, yeah. aren't you, Finch? Okay. Um, wow, that looks cool. So we need to construct an arrival helipad. 
which is here. So let's go ahead and do that. Connect it to the path network. So why don't we just go on and drop that thing down? And it looks like it's connected. Yeah, it's kind of connected. Now it's connected. Um, and then a ranger outpost. Yes, that is how we uh, fucking do all the things. So we'll just put a ranger outpost. I don't know, in here somewhere. It's good enough. Um, and then connect that to the path as well. I don't know where the front is going to be, but it's got to be here somewhere. Okay, so the arrival helipad's good. And this should be good as well. Whipping it up, baby. Whipping it. Wow, that was a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. You nervous to be back, Dr. Grant? You know, the last time I was here, I left him kind of a hurry and I want to make absolutely sure what happened isn't repeated ever again so I've returned reluctantly on the positive side of the ledger it's a chance to work with living dinosaurs does that paint a clearer picture for you completely dr. Grant and mr. Hammond seems pretty confident we can get everything working as designed and intended confidence is not something John Hammond lacks Competence, however, is something I pride myself in, Dr. Grant. We'll need to repair the geothermal power station to start. Yes. Okay, once that is done, we can focus on the visitors. Oh, shit. Repaired and powered, it should give us a solid base of operations. I was supposed to repair the geothermal power plant first. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Dude, this game is just beautiful. It's incredible. Okay, we got that, and then we gotta go into the Velociraptor pen and hope that, um, we don't get fucking eaten. I don't remember it, was it? Okay, I think it's in this. I don't even remember. I mean, I guess after we stopped playing, there was probably a lot of, uh, updates to the game. Is this the Velociraptor pen? Yeah, it is. That looks cool. Okay, we did it. Now, constructing... Oh, shit reasons but then I realized that I was even more reluctant to stay away because nature would take its course as it always does I felt the same still there's no denying this is the single most important place on earth right now perhaps ever perhaps but uh, what of dr. Grant he and I are a team through thick and thin you know yes 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 still um Chaos, Dr. Sattler, um, chaos has me contemplating whether we can actually make things better or just delay the inevitable. It all comes down to responsibility. The last time we were here, we were Hammond's guests. This time, we're more like partners. Now we have the knowledge and the means to make a change. Ambitious, Dr. Sattler, that's ambitious, but, uh, you know, I do like the, uh, sentiment. Good. I'll need a research module added to the visitor center. Then we can get a look at the different fencing available. Let's add an emergency bunker to that list as well. I mean, you know, we've both experienced how effective fences have been in the past. Okay, well there's a fucking dinosaur loose. It's all good though. Be able to hit him with a trank dart. Once we get fences put up and then we can, like, transport people. What the hell is this? Yo. What? Are these employees or guests? Yeah, I'd be running too. That thing's a fucking killer, baby. That thing is absolutely a killer. Y'all better... How do we turn this on? I forgot. Open shelter. What the fuck? My cats are... wilding out. Alright, research item from research center. Electrified cable fence. Um... Is that... This? Okay. Enables the research of new technology. View research. Okay, this is what we need. The fence, yes. Okay. What is... what? This is nice. 
More dinosaur threats. Okay, we got the helicopter taking off. Somebody's getting the fuck out of here. Smart. Very smart. We're just gonna forget about the the dinosaurs for now. That doesn't seem like the right thing to do at Jurassic Park, but I think once we get the cable fence, then we can connect these, then we can tranquilize any missing uh, <coughs> shit. Oh yeah, there we go, look. Mr. Hammond is very concerned. We're getting reports of staff injuries. Velociraptors. Okay, we have to get them enclosed in the raptor pen. Yes. Are you an expert on raptors, Dr. Grant? Uh, I think that it'd be fair to say that uh, raptors and Dr. Grant have uh, history. Devoting your life to the study of an animal means accepting the harsh truth that it would try to kill you if you ever came face to face with it. You did come face to face with it. Which was impossible before Jurassic Park. So hey, that had fucker. to count for something. It did. It counted for a lot of sleepless nights. I forget how to... Okay, ranger teams can medicate and tranquilize. Dinosaurs are a threat to a ranger team if they get too close. Fire flares to distract them. Damaged ranger teams will need to return to receive repairs. I don't remember that being a thing, but maybe. Okay, so here's our three. Here's our three. There's an alpha? Oh my god. Okay, this game has definitely changed. How do I tell them to do what they need to do? Okay, so let's tranquilize you. Tranquilize you. And is are you the last one? Task slot's full, okay. And then we need the other team to tranquilize you, not fire a flare. Do we, okay. Are they already on task? Who is already getting tranquilized? Shit, you I guess. Okay. Who's on this little fucker? Okay. Somebody's already after them. Alright, we should be good. Alright. This one is tranquilized. Now can we transport? Now in order to do that, we need to go to... The helipad? Or could that also be the research- or the rangers? I'm not sure. Add task, medicate, tranquilize, or flare. No, we need to... I think to transport, we needed, like... Only one arrival helipad. I thought it was a different, um... Helipad. Helipad and guest arrival facility. Shit, it was at the bottom. Alright, there it is. Transport, uh... We need to transport you and go ahead and throw you over there. And then I guess we can only do... Can we do one at a time, or can we do more than one at a time? Transport teams. All right, we'll add another task. We got one asleep over here. And then we just got one more, and we'll be good. Um, <gasps> if it'll let us do it. Um, transporting two dinosaurs. Where's, where's our last dino? I know he's asleep somewhere. We tranked his ass. This one's got a flare on him. Shit. Um, asleep, asleep. Right here? In the, oh yeah, he's in the woods. Okay, let's grab him up, transport. Uh, right there, okay. All three going into the Velociraptor pen. So this thing looks get small. Control, right? control, no. No, no, Finch. The best you can hope for on Isla Nublar is, uh, uh, managed chaos. Okay? And that is why you are here, Dr. Malcolm. So, n not my sparkling personality, then? We just need Jurassic Park manageable. Chaos and all. Then we can think about larger plans. John, Alan and I still really aren't comfortable opening the park to tourists. That is kind of an understatement. I understand your sentiment. And your concerns, but all in due course. And I do seem to remember seeing the public at your date site in the Badlands. 
Charles the Vinci. Those donations help fund our research. As did I. For which we are grateful. But it's really no different than what we are doing here at Jurassic Park, Dr. Sattler. Just on an admittedly much grander scale. And with more theatrics. And buttered popcorn. <laughs> we all know your vision, John. But the execution? It really needs work. That is why you are all here. To make sure this dream, my dream, doesn't die. And there is one other major difference between us, John. In Montana, Ellie and I were pulling dinosaur fossils out of the ground. And here, it's the dinosaurs that are trying to put us into the ground. <laughs> and isn't that exciting? Finch, you really need to learn when to stop talking. Okay, so... These fences are so jacked up. Gotta keep deleting them. Alright, we just gotta connect it all the way there. Bada boom, bada bing. Look at that. Um, these are broken here? What's broke? By this? Oh, yep. Yeah. This one's fucked up. Are these messed up too? Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. It's all good. Get some fresh fences in here. About to be looking good. Looking real good. Yes, sir. Bam. I think we're sure. Yo, look at this. Whoa, what's this? <coughs> we low power over here or what? Need a little substation? Something. Okay, it doesn't look like uh, construct fences to prevent dinosaurs from accessing central facility buildings. So, yeah, we did that, I'm pretty sure. Can they get through here? No? Is it just this one fence right here? Is this the problem? Tell me we just need like an extra power station there or some shit. I actually don't even know how all these fences are being powered. Just by this one, it's got five power connections. Unused power? 60? No chance. How is that possible? That one's still being transported. Um, shit, I only got 17 seconds. Hold up, uh, fuck, let me... Substation. Uh, just build it right there. Connect that shit, bitch. I got no time. Are we good? Three seconds. It didn't work! Oh. Oh, I did it. I think I already did it. Mission complete. Regaining control. Oh my god, we did it. I can't believe it. It's still gonna take a while to properly organize and restore the scientific data. Dr. Wu left behind a ton of material. Right. After Nedry's sabotage, it's a miracle we have anything to work with. True. But between the storm, the dinosaurs, and whatever Nedry did to the computers, the records and documentation are a mess. But you think it can be done? If we can make dinosaurs, then we should be able to sort paperwork and organize computer files. Can we make dinosaurs? Or are these just impressive replicas? Oh, they're alive, Alan. And I want them to be as scientifically accurate as possible. Hammond scientists made their mistake by substituting amphibian DNA. And? Hiring wrong people. But now Hammond has the right ones. Us. I don't know what he sees in that Cabot kid. People say that to me about you. Oh, do they, huh? People. People like Dr. Rockstar. Okay, I figured we should listen to that conversation there. All right, everybody, I think that's a good spot to end this episode. We completed the first mission. That was pretty pain-free, so uh, thank you all once again for tuning into the video. Once again, um, I just said once again a lot. Sometimes I do that shit. Anyway, uh, if you guys would like to see more of this game on the channel, be sure to show some love to the like button. Subscribe if you happen to be new here, and I will catch you guys right back here next time. Once again, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance. And as always, guys, I don't really have